Scenes of joy amid the ongoing torment of war. As Hamas releases Israeli hostages kidnapped during the October 7th massacre, Palestinians are celebrating the release of their own from Israeli prisons. Under the terms of an agreement brokered by Qatar, the U.S. and Egypt, the pause could be extended by one day for every additional 10 Israeli hostages who are released by Hamas. The militant group which governs Gaza has said it's open to an extension, something also welcomed by the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who at the same time vowed the eradication of Hamas would continue. I want to say there is an outline that says Hamas can release 10 more hostages for every additional day. It is a blessed thing. But in the same breath, I also told President Biden that at the end of the outline we will return with all our strength to realize our goals, the elimination of Hamas. This is the longest break in fighting since the October 7th attack by Hamas, and international aid groups are rushing to take advantage of the pause in violence as the humanitarian crisis inside Gaza remains unprecedented, according to the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees. During a summit of European and Arab countries in Spain, there was a growing chorus of voices from across the globe calling for a lasting end to the violence. You cannot have 2.3 million Palestinian hostage and, and subject them to the destruction and aggression that we've seen unfolding over the past uh, weeks. So uh, yes, we, we demand that this uh, pause turns into a permanent ceasefire. The pause should be extended to make it sustainable and long-lasting while working for a political solution. Despite those calls, Israel is committed to ending Hamas's 16-year rule of Gaza. And human rights groups inside the territory fear Israel's ground invasion will expand to the south, where hundreds of thousands of Palestinians have been crammed into U.N. shelters.